Okay, so what we're going to discuss today, uh, it's an ECMAScript. All of us already know what is this, uh, but I will um, try to explain once again. I will provide some new features and updates in last uh, two versions, like ECMAScript uh, 2019, 2020, and what we are expecting in a, a future one. ECMAScript, which we expect will be released in June of this year. Uh, so what is the ECMAScript um, by simple words? Uh, so ECMAScript, it's a, a standardized uh, scripted scripting language and uh, JavaScript, it's a most popular um, implementation of this ECMAScript standard. Uh, so we can find another one. Uh, like uh, action script, uh, but JavaScript is the most popular. Uh, so uh, ACMA is a company which um, performed in uh, standardization of uh, technologies and communications in different areas. Uh, so the first one, uh, ECMAScript uh, standard was released in 1997. It was uh, ES1. And after that, we have the second one in uh, next year, 1998. And yes, three was in 19, 1999. And after that, uh, yes, four uh, wasn't uh, released at all. Uh, after that, uh, after 10 years, uh, the ECMAScript 5 was released in uh, 2009. Yeah, and uh, the, the next one, year six, was released on 2015. Uh, we, we found a lot of new features, like uh, we already know, arrow functions, classes, et cetera, et cetera, interesting. Uh, so after that, the community, uh, um, maybe not a community, but ECMAScript confirms that uh, it will be year-based certification. And uh, from the 2015, uh, each year we have a new uh, new release of this specification. Uh, generally in the, June, in the June of each year. And so that's all probably about ECMAScript. And uh, now let's go ahead. And the first uh, topic in our meeting is ECMAScript 2019 or ES 2019 or ES 10. So it's uh, the same. And the first property is an uh, object from entries. Uh, so uh, a brief overview in each slide for ECMAScript uh, 10 and 11, we will have the screenshots uh, from the can I use with appropriate um, methods um, and uh, uh, for ECMAScript uh, 12, which we are expecting to have this year, we will not have this uh, screenshots because this uh, specification not released yet officially, but we will have some simple examples uh, from the code. And also for uh, these two past um, specifications, we will have some examples in, in the browsers, I will show you. Uh, okay, <clears throat> object from entries, uh, what does it mean? So we have a method uh, object entries, uh, which represents uh, object like uh, key value pairs. And now we can, <clears throat> we can convert these uh, pairs to the object, to the, like a uh, original object. And now let's check the supporting. As you already uh, see, uh, this new method supported in all um, most popular browsers like H Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, Opera iOS, and some others. I will not uh, say it um, every time, but we will just check the uh, supporting. And in in most cases, Internet Explorer doesn't support uh, all um, new features, so. Uh, now let's go to the uh, simple examples. Uh, guys, do you see the code now? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well. Okay. Uh, let's imagine we have some object uh, ages. I have a name John with uh, age thirty and Sam with age uh, forty. So now I am uh, using the old method entries and uh, console log this with entries uh, constant, and we can see the array of pairs like John thirty, Sam forty, and now I. And with a new method from entries, I can convert these pairs uh, back to the original object. As you can see in console log, we have the same object as we have in original in original one. Okay. The next one, array prototype flat flat. Sorry. Um, so this method was created um, to, con to concatenate uh, included arrays into specified depths. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, this one has the same support in, in the browsers like uh, the past one, uh, also not supported in an explorer at all, but we can we are free to use in, in a Chrome Safari, etc. Uh, let's back to the, sorry. Okay, array prototype flat. Okay, um, let's clean the console. I have an array uh, with uh, some included array into this array. And when I will use the flat method method with, <clears throat> without any parameters. Um, the original array will be concatenated uh, into only one depth. Uh, as you can see, we will have one, two, three, four, five. And after that, only one included array with six, seven, eight. Uh, but I can specify uh, depths in a, as a parameter and we will have the uh, like uh, a simple array. Also, we can uh, put here uh, the string infinity. Sorry. You have deleted the parentheses closing bracket. You see it is. Yes, yes. Same. Here we go. Uh, so the parameter infinity means that uh, all included array will be concatenated into one one level array. Okay. Uh, the next one is a flat map. It's uh, especially the same method as a flat, but plus map. Uh, so the part supporting is the same in as in a previous and let's 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 go back to the why I'm opening this top. Okay. Uh, let's imagine that I have some map in uh, in my my array with one two three and I'm returning uh, uh, array uh, with uh, lm plus five, and I'm console log this uh, result, and as a result, I have uh, like uh, three arrays into uh, into one array, and with a flat map uh, method, I can uh, concatenate this array, uh, so just uh, only one different. I can specify uh, the Depths as level depths for this flat map method. Okay. Excuse me. Is that uh, ECMAScript six or ECMAScript more earlier? No, it's ECMAScript ten. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the next one, uh, two methods: uh, string trim start and trim end. Uh, we already already have uh, the trim method, but now 
uh, we can trim the string uh, in the some empty spaces in the start and some empty spaces in the end of the string. Uh, so as you can see here, are some changes about supporting. Edge uh, supports this trim supplement partially, uh, but Firefox Chrome, Safari, Opera already supported it uh, correctly. And now let's go back to the code. Okay, I have the uh, my string web UI community with some empty spaces in the beginning and in the end. So the, in, in the first time using trim start and you see the result and after that trim end. And in this case, I don't have uh, an empty spaces as in original string in the end. Mm, probably that's it, um, but uh, also, we are free to use uh, the old one trim method. Let's check it. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, optional catch uh, binding. Uh, so generally we use the try catch block to, to catch some errors after on some API calls or uh, some difficult logic, etc. Uh, so what does it mean optional catch binding? We are free to use the catch block without any parameters because in some cases uh, we actually don't want to check the error and the text of this error, etc. We just know uh, what to do in this case, like, like to set up some action or another, another things. Uh, so it's already supported in our all, all browsers, uh, most popular, but as a general, don't support it in Internet Explorer. Let's see an example. Okay. Uh, how it was uh, later uh, when I'm using some try catch block, um, I uh, must uh, using this uh, this parameter of a catch like a error, and here we can see this object. Now we are free to use catch block without any uh, any parameters, and we will not get any syntax error. Okay, the next one function to string. Uh, so uh, we already had this function to string method, uh, but um, what's wrong in the past, uh, all spaces and formatting was ignored and we was able to see only uh, just one string. Uh, now um, we will see the original one function with all formatting, tabs, spaces, etc. And as you can see, it's a surprise for me. At least it's already supported in the Next Explorer also, and maybe in almost all browsers. Uh, so let's see an example. Okay. Uh, I have some a simple function, my function with a console log. And after that, I'm console log my, my function to string. And as a result, I can see the original my function without any changes with original format, formatting, sorry. Okay, simple description. Uh, so it's a read-only description property, uh, which is returning the uh, description of a simple object uh, supported in all uh, in all popular browsers. Let's see an example. So 
sorry. So I have created my uh, simple symbol uh, object. And to that I console log, uh, for example, my, my symbol to string. So I can see it's a symbol object actually. Um, but after that, I am uh, console log the my symbol description. And I can see just a simple string, like a description which I specify for this symbol. Okay, uh, well, for manager something GIFI, it's uh, also just a minor uh, minor improvements of a standard, but uh, let's check what is this. Um, it's to prevent uh, from ill format JSON string GIFI uh, from Unicode strings. Uh, so already supported in all modern browsers. As a general don't support it in Internet Explorer. Uh, let's see an example. Uh, how it was. Uh, like I'm not sure that uh, this console will support this all. Uh, but let's imagine in the past uh, we have JSON string UFI with some Unicode as a parameter, as a string. And as a result, we was able to see the like a compiled icon. And now, uh, yeah, it's not supporting in this console, but uh, it will be it will be working in uh, in all browsers. Uh, so I can put some Unicode values into JSON Stringify, and I will I will see the the original one string without any ill formatting. Okay. Uh, resource stability. So we already have sort method a lot of time of array, but uh, what's wrong? Uh, generally, uh, for the sorting was using a quick sort. Uh, so I will not explain you this quick sort uh, algorithm. You can check it in a, in a, in a Google. Feel free. But um, now, uh, like uh, most popular uh, Chrome browsers, like uh, V8, uh, will use a trim sort algorithm, which more stable uh, for more than ten elements. And let's check an example and it will be more clear. Uh, so let's imagine I have uh, the array uh, scores. Array scores have uh, the objects with a student and his score. Uh, score is the same for all students, but the names of uh, students is uh, different. And what we had in the past, uh, we can have the unexpected result after sorting by student's score. As you can see, I'm sort uh, using sort method with I'm and I'm sorting uh, with a score. So as a result, I was able and we were able to see uh, that uh, order of uh, elements in the array uh, uh, is uh, changed. And for example, uh, the name Fader was, which was in the last one uh, order, now in the first one position, and etc. For example, the lies in the second one, and etc. Uh, so now, which we are, will use the sort method, it will be stable and will not see any unexpected result. So let's clean the console and run once again. And as you can see, I have the original one uh, order without any changes, allies, Bill, Kevin, David, and Fedor. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, JSON superset. And it's generally a minor 
minor improvements. And now we are free to use uh, characters like uh, line separator uh, and uh, paragraph separator in a string literal, lit, sorry, literals. Uh, let's check an example. Okay, what we ha uh, had in the past. Uh, when I'm trying to use uh, like a, um, uh, these uh, characters together, like uh, simple and uh, double, uh, I was able to got a syntax error, uh, but now we are free to use and we will not get any error. And so let's clean the console. So don't any error, syntax error, just a source code. Okay, that's all for ECMAScript 10 or ECMAScript 2019. Uh, now let's go ahead. And uh, now we're going to discuss the next one. ECMAScript 2020, which was released, if I'm not wrong, in June of in past year. Uh, okay, the first one, a major feature, it's a big integer. And what does it mean? Uh, for now, um, we are uh, limited to use uh, uh, numbers in a JavaScript, and it's a uh, two in power uh, 53 minus one. Uh, so it's uh, it was uh, uh, it was uh, not uh, uh, not so so good. Yeah, we need to uh, some validation and etc. Some workarounds to avoid this uh, limitation. And now we have new um, new type in JavaScript. It's a big integers, and we are free to use uh, any bigger numbers and uh, this uh, max safe number uh, but uh, with one uh, changes in the end of this uh, number we will have and we need to have the letter n uh, so we'll check it in the, the examples later uh, but let's see in supporting as you can see safari from uh, version 14 so already supports this uh, the same for Chrome, Firefox Edge, but Internet Explorer do not. Uh, let's see an example. Okay, what we have now? It's uh, my old number and it's a max safe number in JavaScript. And now I'm trying to uh, to increase this number and return the new value. Uh, but as you can see, this value is not uh, increased and stay uh, stays the same as it was. Uh, so the different sync with a big integer number, I can use a bigger one. As you can see this one big integer bigger than it was for old number with a just simple number, but at the end of the string we have the letter n. Uh, so uh, we can uh, compare the number and big integer number. Uh, we will have the correct results. For example, in the first case, I'm um, comparing old number with a big integer number, and it's a false and in second case, big integer must be bigger than old one, and it's a true. Uh, so for big integer, we can apply any uh, logical operators, uh, plus, minus, uh, etc. Uh, so also we can use uh, big integer num to string, and we will have just a simple string uh, like a number. So it's very helpful. We will be on all projects, I think. Uh, dynamic import and what does it mean? Um, up to now, um, we are uh, using the import in the top of the JavaScript files and uh, JavaScript before executing the code just uh, loaded all 
imported files and, uh, and after that um, um, goes to the to the code executing uh, but now um, we can uh, import the file dynamically for example in a if block let's check the example okay it will not work uh, because because of some unsupported issues with this uh, service uh, but let's imagine we have some conditions here and we need only to load the file by this condition we don't want to to import this file at the top because it will cost a lot of uh, memory and uh, a lot of time to load this file uh, but we can do it like in a sync await function in a if block or anywhere and use this model like a general. And also we don't need any, um, any other uh, tools like the pack or Babel or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead. And it's a um, knowledge collasking. Um, so the new feature was added to to check only the knowledge values instead of falsy. Uh, let's imagine that we have uh, some variable uh, which is equal to which can be false, null, or undefined. And only in case when this uh, variable is null or undefined, we can we want to. Um, to assign some new value or do something. So now we can do it with a new feature. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to the supporting. Yeah, it's already supported, not supported in Opera Mobile and Samsung Internet and also Internet Explorer. Let's clear its console. Okay, I have some false uh, value, and uh, operator is double question mark, like a knowledge classkin. Uh, but in this case, uh, con a false will be console locked because uh, it's not a null or defined. It's the same for empty string, but a different case uh, with a null. Mm, in this case, is uh, the string will be console locked and the same for undefined. Okay, uh, optional chaining. Um, so generally we are using a lot this feature in our project and uh, more than one year already, one, one year, sorry. Uh, so, what is this? Um, let's imagine that we have some uh, object and this, this object has some um, property like methods and uh, in these methods we have some method A. Uh, but uh, this uh, object can be undefined. And in this case, when we'll try to run some method on the undefined, we'll, uh, up to now, we was able to get the syntax error uh, sorry, of type error. Uh, so let's check the supporting. The same case, or is supported in all modern browsers. Don't support in the Internet Explorer, and even supports in the Opera Mobile and Samsung Internet. Uh, let's check the example. Okay, I have my object and I have my methods here and my first method. And let's imagine that uh, this object can be or some, uh, let's imagine methods or can be undefined. 
or this my methods can be methods are defined something like that and uh, when i'm trying to run this my first method in the my methods okay i have this method uh, console log will be displayed not not uh, especially the console log but uh, arrow function and in other case i'm trying to uh, to get another methods which i don't have in the in my object and try to uh, to console log first another method which i also don't have in object so i just get got an and an undefined uh, but when i'm uh, will uh, remove this uh, operator i will go to the type error uh, first and as a method of undefined i'm sorry can i ask a question of course uh what's your opinion on uh performance of optional training because i heard that uh, optional training is transpiled uh, into quite messy code which can lead to some uh other performance uh actually it's a good topic for discussion but uh I'm not sure about performance. Um, I think you will not see any uh, unexpected performance issues when we will use uh, this uh, operator in some methods, uh, but uh, I'm not sure. I need to check it. But are you using it in everyday uh, coding? Yes, right. of course. OK, thanks. I of think that's enough for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, this feature was already implemented in a TypeScript with some uh, with some fallback, uh, but now it's uh, natively support supports in uh, JavaScript. Okay, let's go ahead. And now we have a new method for promise, and it's all settled. Uh, so this method accept an array of promises, like uh, uh, like a parameter, and only results when all of them are settled. Um, neither it's resolved or rejected, uh, the method will be accepted. Uh, so the supporting is a good just not supports in uh, Ethernet Explorer. Guys, one question for you. Does anyone support Ethernet Explorer in your projects? We don't no. support. Yeah, we, we also. No, no. Never. Okay, I will not uh, say about Ethernet Explorer in all. <laughs> Uh, in all slides because it's not necessary. Uh, okay, let's uh, check an example. So I have uh, an array of promises. Uh, the first one is uh, results with uh, uh, some number 200 and another one is rejects with the error string and also the third one rejects with a, another error. Uh, so, and now I'm using all settled method in a promise and as a parameter, I am uh, putting my promises array. Um, and after all of these promises will be rejected or result, uh, also this method all settled will be result and we will get the result parameter as a, uh, like a result of executing all of these promises. And so we are free to, to run some code here. Uh, in the console log, we can see the result of uh, executing all, all my promises. Okay, uh, string match all. Um, method was added to string prototype. Uh, 
and it's uh, like a replacing for a match method, uh, which this method is returns the iterator with all matched groups one after another. And now let's see an example of what's wrong with a match and which benefits from the match all. But before that, let's see supporting. So I, th I think supporting is a good, only in Opera Mini and uh, some UC browser for Android, it's supported partially and some in other browsers, I don't know. So I think we can use it. We are free to use it in the projects. Okay, let's see an example. Let's clean the console. Uh, okay, I have some string, test one, test two, and how I have some regular expression, uh, like to find all, uh, all test word. And as a result, I can see just an array with uh, uh, these two elements, like to find it uh, parts of the, in uh, this string. And uh, now I, if I, for example, uh, want to do something with a second one, match it, uh, match it, uh, how to say, uh, part of a string, I need to find in my array this special element and etc. It's some workaround and some over coding required. And uh, now I'm free to use much all methods uh, with the same regular expression. And as a result, I will, will have the two different, um, two different arrays and these are all, um, how to say match it parts of the string and it's easy to to make some additional uh, additional operations with uh, match it match it parts match it groups okay global is this uh, so let's imagine that uh, we have some code javascript code and we need to run this code in different environments uh, for example in some case we are executing it in a browser in other case in node.js environment and uh, in, in several cases in web workers and uh, in all these environments uh, the global object is uh, different in the node.js it's a, a global is if i'm not wrong uh, in a web work it's a self and in a, in a browser it's a window uh, so, and we need to have some uh, helpful method like to get global. So let's see an example. For example, I want to to get uh, global global window, and because my code is uh, universal, I am executing it in all environments. And uh, up to now, I was. Uh, uh, running this uh, get global method, for example, and uh, checking if a self is not undefined, return self, sorry for this typo. And if a window is not undefined, return window, global, et cetera, et cetera. So now uh, we have a global this method and uh, like not a method, uh, like a object and uh, all methods from a window uh, will be also supporting in this global this. As you can see, I'm comparing uh, set them out in a global and in a window, and it's a true. Uh, these methods is uh, are uh, the same, and also I can use uh, of global this. So all methods which were which were included into a window, for example, will be available for global. Uh, but I'm not sure about Node.js and uh, self. Um, so let's see an alert, alert is working. And probably that's it. Uh, so supporting is uh, also a good, I'll just partially supported in Opera Mini and some uh, not modern and not so popular browsers. 
Okay. Uh, model namespace exports. Uh, sorry, guys, one second. Okay, it was a time for uh, for some couple of water. <laughs> okay, do you see my screen now? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go. Go ahead. Let's continue. Uh, model in space exports. Um, so uh, the import and export uh, features. Uh, we already have in a JavaScript uh, our symmetry. Uh, so, for example, we can uh, use uh, a syntaxes like import all as, import default as, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But only one case was not covered up to now. Uh, so we was able to import all as syntax, but we was not able to export all as. Uh, so now we are free to use it. Uh, later we'll check it in the example. Uh, but before let's check the supporting that it's not supported in Safari. And I think it's a red flag. Also Safari on iOS, Android browser. So it's uh, don't have a good supporting. Uh, but I think in the future we will have a better one. Uh, Anyway, let's check the example and let's see what is. So let's imagine I have some uh, methods uh, file, methods.js in my uh, core folder. And uh, how it was later, I import all as methods. And after that, I can export methods from the file. For example, it's some index file. And now um, I'm free just to use uh, uh, export all as syntax, uh, like uh, and one string without additional uh, additional strings. Uh, yes, it's all. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, okay, well defined for in order. Um, for in order was implemented uh, many years ago, uh, but in ECMAS specification, uh, this order did not specify. Uh, but in the ECMAScript 2020, it was specified and we can open the uh, ECMA specification and find this order. So as you can see, supporting is uh, Good, but it's a surprise for us that support in Internet Explorer. Yeah, yeah. but it's a old one future. It's expected. Uh, so it's a screenshot from an ECMA uh, specification. Now we can find free iteration objects and create free iterator. And we have... and import meta. Uh, so you can access now meta information about the old uh, models uh, you are importing uh, using the import meta object. So supporting is a good, like uh, not a good maybe, but a general. Okay, let's see an example. Sorry, it's not our case. 
input meta. Um, so let's imagine that I have some model JS file and I'm uh, adding my script to, to the, some file. And now I can use import meta and uh, some meta information like a URL will be returned. Uh, so we can check any information from URL or anything or other meta information, etc. And that's it for the ECMAScript 2020. And uh, now we are going to the what we expect in uh, 2021 in years 12. Uh, so as I said, we are expecting to uh, released in uh, June, but let's see. Uh, okay, the first one method replace all. Uh, so as I said, uh, we will not have uh, the screenshots from a can I use site uh, because I think it's not necessary because this uh, specification wasn't uh, released officially. But we'll just have it's just what we are expecting, but uh, I'm not sure what will be in a uh, official specification. Um, so, uh, string replace all. Um, replace all method method will replace all um, all inputs uh, like uh, all entries in a JavaScript in in a JavaScript string. Uh, so it's a syntax string prototype replace all. Uh, the first parameter it's a search value, and the second one it's a replacement string. And uh, let's see an example. I have a string. It's a hello Mark. How are you, Mark? And now I'm replace using the replace all add method and replacing Mark with a David. And uh, as a result, we'll have hello David. How are you, David? I was wrong with a replace a method which uh, already exists in a string prototype. Uh, in our case, we will re replace only the first one name and you will have string like hello, uh, David, how are you, Mark? Okay, uh, promise any. Uh, the promise any message return a promise that we resort as soon as only one of the promises are resolved. Uh, so it's a syntax promise any and iterable uh, array of uh, of promises. And let's see an example. I have a promise uh, one, promise two, three, and uh, I'm using promise any to these three uh, promises and. Uh, after at least only one uh, will be resolved, um, the console log will be will be appear. Okay. Uh, also, um, we will have a new one aggregation error, like an exception, uh, if no one um, if all of the promises uh, will be rejected. Okay, uh, the weak graphs. I think the uh, most interesting feature. Uh, okay, what's new? Uh, actually, we already have the weak map and weak uh, set in JavaScript. Um, but what's wrong? Uh, if we will uh, dive deeper into this uh, uh, method, we will see that. Uh, I, this method like we map we set, we set uh, build it on uh, data structure as a um, FML on. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, we have uh, we have it's a data structure with a key. Key it's uh, some object and value it's any data, and data will not be garbage collected uh, until time. Uh, when the garbage collected uh, doesn't, uh, mm, how to say, it doesn't uh, uh, follow the key for this uh, for this value. So I think it's uh, a little bit uh, complicated, but you can check it uh, later. 
so what's new in a weak graph? Uh, weak graph works, it's actually, it's a weak reference to the object. Um, let's see an example. I have some callback with the object uh, by creating a new weak graph uh, syntax. Uh, so we have name backbencher and uh, this callback will console lock the big uh, object deref uh, name. Uh, so uh, to the weak graph object, we can uh, only get the content by uh, deref a method and it's like a dereference. Uh, so after first uh, calling of this dereference method, uh, this object will be garbage collected. Uh, but uh, we are not sure about uh, uh, behavior in all browsers. We just expect uh, that after first calling, uh, this uh, object will be garbage collected. But in the second case, uh, so as you can see, I have a, syn a synchron function. Um, they have await new promise the first and second one. And in first case, callback, uh, backbencher will be displayed, but we don't have guarantees that the backbencher will be displayed in a second time in callback. So it's probably it for now, uh, but I think we will have some more details after official one um, specification will be released. Uh, another one um, feature which relates which is uh, related to VCRAF, it's a finalizers. Um, so we can register a finalization registry and uh, register some object with uh, a parameter. Uh, first one is a reference object with a weak reference. And the second one is a string or some parameters, anything, some value. And uh, this callback uh, will be it is not called back, maybe a registry it will be uh, triggered once the garbage collect collection uh, collector uh, collected the garbage. Yeah. Um, probably that's it. Let's see how it will work in uh, real projects. Uh, I think in a uh, uh, fast future we'll have more examples and uh, cases how we can use it, but. Uh, Let's go back to the VCRAF. Uh, as a recommendation, uh, VCRAFs we can use to the some cache or some, for example, mapping objects, um, like for uh, information which uh, we will completely sure we will not need in the future. Something like this. Okay. Uh, private methods and accessors. Uh, it's uh, new features uh, was added to the classes and uh, now by adding a hash at the beginning of the uh, private accessors or methods uh, this uh, uh, methods began uh, private and so we were not able to to get we just got an undefined uh, let's see an example I have a class person with some public accessors uh, with a getter name which return big bencher and is a private accessory with which is uh, return age. Uh, so we have an uh, object uh, constructed by this uh, class. And here we are trying to uh, to get the name. Okay, and this method is a public getter, but the second one uh, it's a private accessors. And we will get undefined. Okay, logical assignment operators. Operators. Um, we already have the or operators, uh, double question mark operators like a null nullish, uh, and we have uh, double end operators like end logical operator, and now we we can use uh, like combination of uh, logical operators and assignment expressions. And so let's check some examples uh, with uh, uh, or operator. 
um, since x is defined, uh, it assigns a number to. So when x is defined uh, and x undefined because let x uh, was not, uh, for let x was not assigned to any value, we will see that too in the console log. Uh, okay, um, now let's check the null in nullish uh, operator. And when the, uh, when the this, uh, let is a null or undefined, uh, the number seven will be assigned to the x. And the last one case, um, it's like ant um, operator. And uh, in case when uh, a let uh, y will be uh, the truthy value is some true or uh, some string, etc., uh, the number nine will be assigned to the y. Okay, and a numeric separator. So no one uh, functional benefits from this feature, uh, just to uh, just to how to say uh, easily uh, reading a code and to writing. Uh, we are free to add. We will be free to add uh, underscore uh, just to separate the hundreds, thousand, millions, etc. How how we want, just a minor feature. I think that's it, guys. Thank you for your attention.